what's up guys today we are talking about the concepts of the word potential me as a coach I think that word is thrown around so much we hear this guy has potential she has potential that guy had so much potential and I think it leads to so many heartbreaks in athletics and careers because people think that this term potential means that you're something special. I actually, over the years, I think that the word potential, when somebody uses it towards you, can be, can be the catastrophe that ends whatever it is that you're doing. Now let me explain. When people say I have potential or you have potential, great, that's the first step. But what comes after that? How many times do we hear these people talk about, oh, this kid had so much potential, what happened? Or, uh, man, I, everybody my whole life told me I had so much potential. But it's the follow through that makes potential become worth anything. I mean, so many people in sports could have been something incredible, but because their potential, they felt like things were owed to them. And in this world, and especially in sports, you have to earn everything. In sports, business, life, nothing's gonna be given to you. You're gonna have to outwork every single person on the planet for you to be able to make a foot in the door in any industry. If not, you're just gonna be like everybody else that possibly had potential for whatever that means. And so many people throw it away because the work that actually has to go in or the relationships that you're gonna have to push to the side or the years that you're gonna have to forego an income because you're pursuing what is beyond the limitations of potential. I mean, me, my career, I've been homeless two times. I, I walked out of a career so I could pursue fighting in an industry that hadn't even really been started yet. And I didn't care because I was, I knew I had to be all in. And my whole life, I had been told by people, oh, this kid has potential, this kid has potential. But I, I never believed in myself, and so self-confidence was never there. So in my mind, this, this idea of potential was always, oh, that's what people are supposed to tell you. That's what these coaches are supposed to tell you. That's what your family is supposed to tell you. And it wasn't until I, I really grew out of this idea of what the idea of potential is, and I realized that it comes down to hard work and refusing to lay down. I mean, I've been, I've been beat, I've, I've lost, I've done everything in between. I've been broke, I've been homeless. Like, I just never refused to accept that I was gonna lay down and be fully defeated. I think every one of my shortcomings I've had in my life has allowed me to be who I am today. And that's the same story that so many other people have, have had in their success stories in their lives. Listen, I can lose everything tomorrow. I would be devastated, yes, for the moment, but I would collect myself, rebuild, and I would put together something so much better than I ever anything I had before. And that's just the way that I've been programmed by dealing with adversity and it, overcoming. That's been my life story. And these people that, that want to ride this idea of what their potential is. Oh, I have so much potential. Dude, get your head out of your own ass. Like, everybody has potential. It just depends on what you're going to do with that. I was an athlete. Okay, great. Then what? I wrestled in high school. I was okay. Then what? I went to school. I paid $100,000 for my school tuition. Then what? It doesn't matter what your potential is. It matters what you're going to do with it. And... I used to get heartbroken when I see this stuff. And now I don't I don't really care anymore. Almost because I almost expect people that talk about their potential to be the ones that are gonna let you down first. I would rather see the people that want to just tuck their head down, do the hard work, 
and let their victories come out of what they put in. I don't even care if the result is your hand getting raised in the competition. For me now, I'm more obsessed and into the process of what you're doing to get there than what the end result is. That's what determines who you'll become and then also determine on what kind of future you're gonna have. Is it sustainable? Is it something that you've just developed a mindset, a way of being, or are you just looking for the low hanging fruit? And that's what most people are doing. They want that short return. They want to get the immediate result to what they put in. And life, in general is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So if you're looking into it for the quick return, you're, you're gonna be heartbroken and you are gonna be upset with the results of what you're gonna find every single time because there's nothing in this world that is going to be life-changing and monumental that comes overnight. It's gonna have to be hard work, you're gonna have to deal with upset and adversity, you're gonna have to deal with heartbreak, you're gonna have to deal with people letting you down time and time again. And that's just the nature of it, that's the reality. To be successful, you have to be willing to live in the dark so that you can eventually see the light. And that's something that I've personally found solace in, knowing that I don't know the answers, I don't know where this is going, but I do know that I am all in, and wherever this thing takes me, I am ready to battle whatever's in front of me. I don't know the answers. How can I know the answer to something that hasn't happened yet? But I do know that I will not be the reason why it doesn't happen. And I think if everybody else that would just take the time to remove this idea of focusing on your own ego and what you think your potential is, okay, great. You have potential. Let's sit down, let's write out what that potential is and take action on it. Then you can see what your real potential looks like. Let's, let's have this conversation in two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Do you still have that same potential that you were so excited about because you, you had one instance of satisfaction? Give me a 30 year run and tell me what your scope looks like now. What does your potential look like after you've been doing the same thing or, or pursuing the same dream for 30 years. What does your potential look like? You're gonna see it as a failure? You're gonna see it as a success story? What does that look like? This whole turn and burn, want success, doesn't happen that way. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. And as soon as people start understanding that, man, is that gonna change. I wish I would have known this at an earlier age. For me, I, I had to learn this on my own the hard way, which I'm actually grateful for. But if I had somebody to help me along with that a long way, I would have saved myself a lot of turmoil, a lot of pain. But at the same time, because of what I've had to overcome has allowed me to have the mindset that I have today and has allowed me to have such a passion to give that to other people so they don't fall on the same things that I did. Listen, if I can help one person change the way they think about uh, their approach to the day and what they want to achieve, then my job is done. But I'm not trying to change just one person. I'm trying to change as many as I can. If we can change the world with this, I know there's many other people that are on the same mission. Let's get together, let's do this. Get everybody changing that, that mindset, that thinking things are owed to you or that things should be handed to you because you have potential. Go out there and fucking get it. It's really that simple. I hope this message from today resonates with so many people. 
because if you feel like I'm talking to you or this is about you, then take it as it is. Because it only takes one change of the mind to take action and change the rest of your life. Live life as a champion and choose to let every thought and every action you do to run that course.